Hello and welcome friends. In job sequencing, now the new case is of processing and jobs on three machines. Till the last lecture, we were discussing the problems involving processing and jobs on two machines. Now, in this case, we are going to study the problem where there are three machines. On three machines, machine one, two, three, in this case, they are A, B, and C, and there are five jobs. These five jobs are to be done on these three machines in order A, then B and then C will process the jobs. Now what to do? Because Johnson's algorithm of sequencing is or stands for two machines only. So if we want to use Johnson's rule, Johnson's rule, we should have only two machines, but in this case there are three machines. So first of all we have to convert this problem into a problem involving two machines. How is it possible? It is possible, but for that purpose we have to check whether any one or all the two of these two conditions are satisfied or not. If any one or all the two of these two conditions are satisfied, then only we can convert this data into a case having only two machines. And then we can use Johnson's algorithm for the purpose of preparing job sequencing schedule. What are the conditions? The conditions are, number one is, Minimum time on the first machine should be greater than or equal to the maximum time on machine 2. And the second condition is minimum time on the third machine should be greater than or equal to the maximum time on machine 2. Yes. Now these two conditions are there. Anyone, if anyone is satisfied, then also we can move forward or if all the two are satisfied then also we can move forward let us check in this case so first of all we need to determine three values minimum time on machine 1 that is 6 maximum time on machine 2 that is 6 and minimum time on machine 3 now the comparison the first condition is minimum time on first machine should be greater than or equal to maximum on second Minimum time on first machine is 6. Maximum time on second machine is also 6. So out of the greater than or equal to, this is the case of equal to sign, the minimum time on machine 1 and maximum time on machine 2 are equal. That is allowed. So we can conclude that this condition is satisfied. Now let us just check whether second condition is also satisfied or not. The first condition is satisfied that is sufficient for us to convert the data into a case with two machines but just for our knowledge let us check minimum on third machine is 4 maximum on second machine is 6 the condition is minimum time on third machine should be greater than or equal to maximum time on second machine 4 is neither greater nor equal to 6 so we can conclude that this condition is not satisfied. But the thing is, if any one of these two conditions is satisfied, that is sufficient. So now we are allowed to convert this data into a case having two machines. Now what? That will be time. Let us let there be two machines. M1 and M2. These are two imaginary machines. Such that time on machine M1 equals to time on A plus time on B. That means summation of first and second original machines. And time on M2 equals to time on B that is second original machine plus time on C. 
In this way, we shall have two machines, and the case will be like this. Job A, B, C, D, E. Now time on M1. Time on A plus B. 8 plus 5, 13. 10 plus 6, 16. 6 plus 2, 8. 7 plus 3, 10. 11 plus 4, 15. Time on M2 will be time on B plus time on C. Originally, original machine number 2 and 3. 5 plus 4, 9, 6 plus 9, 15, 2 plus 8, 10, 3 plus 6, 9, and 4 plus 5 also, 9. Now we can use Johnson's algorithm because now we have the case with two machines and processing n jobs on two machines. It is like that. So the rule says, first of all, find out the lowest time job C on machine 1. If the lowest time is on machine 1, keep it on the left hand side. So we are going to complete job C first. Now the remaining minimum time is on is 9 job A, D, E. In all cases it is on machine 2. So there is tie between these 3. What is the tiebreaker? The job having minimum total time will be say, placed on the right hand side because this is the tie on second machine. If the tie is on second machine, then the job having lowest total time will be placed on the right hand side. 13 plus 9, 22, 10 plus 9, 19, 15 plus 9, 24. So D will be placed at the 5th. Similarly in this 2, 22 and 24. So A will be placed at 4th. And E will be placed at 3rd. So there is remaining only 1 B. In this way. The job sequencing schedule shows the sequence of C, B, E, A, D. At the cost of repetition, let us check what exactly we did. There are three machines. To check or rather to apply the Johnson's algorithm, we should have two machines. Can we... Convert this data into a case with two machines. The answer is dependent on two conditions. Any one of them is to be satisfied. Minimum time on first machine should be greater than or equal to maximum time on second machine. It is equal in this case. So that condition is satisfied. The <coughs> another condition that is now optional because first is already satisfied. Minimum time on third machine should be greater than or equal to maximum on second machine. But this condition cannot be satisfied because minimum time on machine 3 is 4 hours or 4 minutes whatever the case may be and maximum is 6. So this condition is not satisfied. But one of the two conditions is satisfied. That means we can convert this case into a case having two machines and it is very simple. Let us imagine two machines or their can be two imaginary machines, machine M1 and machine M2. Machine M1, time on machine M1 is nothing but the summation of time of first two machines in the original case. Similarly, time on M2 is nothing, it is summation of the time on second and third machine in the original case. In this way, now the case is of five jobs on two machines and Applying Johnson's algorithm, this is the job sequencing schedule. The order is C, B, E, A, D. That's it. This was part one of the solution. In the next part, we are going to prepare the schedule showing total time elapsed, minimum total time elapsed as well as idle time. But that statement will be bigger because now originally we have three machines. Let us... Say, and this solution at this point.